Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is it is my pleasure to hear to have the presentations. And then my titles is Mechanism of the Lung Substance Mutation in Basin Ply and the Background of the Under Expression. Uh, my name is Ingo and came from the Capital Normal University. Okay, let's start. Let's see the background of the lung substance in Beijing. We all know the lung substance occurs in more than 200 countries and regions, and it, it becomes a series of international scientific programs. And lung, and lung, substance, lung, substance, lung substance becomes a global, regional, and comprehensive and uh, complex system problem, uh, especially in Beijing and Beijing, Tianjin, Hebei region, as uh, so one of the world's largest uh, uh, subsidence panels and uh, superposed with the uh, human's largest uh, divisions, the South to North Water Division uh, Project. Uh, it is essential to research the land subsidence in Beijing. Okay, let's see. As at the end of the 2020s, uh, uh, the maximum calculum as some substance, uh, subsidence has reached 2.2 meters, and uh, with a maximum subsidence rate about 159.5 millimeters per year. Okay, let's see the study errors. Uh, study errors is uh, Beijing Plain, and as we know, Beijing is located in the northwestern of the uh, China, North China Plain, and it is, it is divided in three parts. Uh, the with the uh, oh no, it's a northern uh, uh, northern mountains, western mountains, and the south is the plain, and it's combinations of by the five groundwater systems, and the uh, continent is in the plains is widely disappeared. Okay. Let's see the, uh, so members of the research has the in-depth with the subsidence uh, uh, in Beijing. It has, it has, res oh, where? Oh, here. Uh, it is says it has eight subsidence boards, and uh, especially in Tongzhou and Chaoyang uh, district, and the subsidence boards has connected with each other. Uh, in order to understand the land subsidence mutations, we also use uh, uh, remote sensing data and uh, uh, hydrogeology data and the SFR, the new prospecting data try to understand the mutation uh, in the land basin plane. Okay, let's see the methodologies. First, we use the NVSAT ASA and RESAT 2 data and combine with uh, 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 INSA technology to get the uh, surface disp displacement from 2004 to 2015. And then we do a lot of uh, a mutation test. It is Mankando mutation test. We, we know the Mankando is a non-parametric static test method. And uh, it is uh, also uh, to, uh, for the research to uh, research the uh, uh, various elements, especially in runoff temperatures and uh, land changes. So in this in this research, we use this method to acquire the land subsidence, land subsidence mutations in Beijing plant. We have the three goals. The, the first the first of one is acquire the surface displacement from 2004 to 2015, and then we determine the op optimal uh, grade size, and then we do the Mankando acquisitions, uh, uh, Mankando mutations. And then we do a lot of interesting things from the perspective of the urban expansions. The first one is we get oh, we get the relationship between the urban expansions and the land subsidence. And then we try to, uh, from the regional scales, we, uh, from the perspective of the horizon urban expansions, we use the geological conditions and the groundwater levels, uh, try to analyze the subsidence mutations mechanism from the regional scales. Then we use the SFR detections from the deep urban expansions. We try to uh, find the relationship between the formation densities and the subsidence mutations. Then from the local scales, uh, from the high, urban expansions, we also collected the building height uh, and the fractures to explore the response relationship, uh, relationship between the high-rise buildings and subsidence mutations. Okay, let's see the result. Uh, we can see uh, we got we get the surface displacement for, for the two period and the and the left and the left ones shows the Emerson ASA result from 2004 to 2015. Uh, but, but, uh, uh, we can see the subsidence rate, uh, rate is range from minus 100 point uh, 100 and 14 point uh, 4 millimeters per year to 18 point. Uh, 
two millimeters per year, and uh, it is uh, seriously occur in the Chaoyang and the Tongzhou. And uh, as we see, it's a real set result from 2011 to 2015. Uh, the land subsidence rate is about uh, 100, is range about 133.6 millimeters to 18.4 uh, to, uh, millimeters per year. It is more serious than the former uh, period. Okay, let's uh, then we uh, validate the INSA results with a uh, two uh, method and uh, with a uh, uh, second class uh, uh, level uh, level deformation isolates to uh, validate from the part uh, from the whole patterns, and then we use uh, uh, twenty five. Uh, benchmarks from 2000 to 2006 to 2013 to validate the INSA project uh, INSA result in time series, and uh, this is an interesting map. Uh, it shows uh, subsidence mutations in uh, Beijing Plain. And this, uh, and uh, and that we uh, the we we can see the two figures, and the figure A shows the distribution of the value fund and devalue fund in the Beijing plan. It mainly included the Chao, uh, Chao Bai River uh, value devalue fund, Yongding value devalue fund, and the Nankou devalue funds. And uh, we also collected six stations, uh, the groundwater uh, wells uh, with the long-term observations to try to understand the subsidence mutations and the uh, groundwater pumping. And then we also, uh, uh, and the figure B shows the new, uh, the, the active faults in Beijing. We can see the subsidence mutations is uh, uh, controlled by the geological conditions. And the blue, blue, a blue line represents uh, re represent the uh, confined uh, groundwater finals in 2005, uh, 2012. And we can see on the both sides of the uh, line, the, subsid the subsidence mutation shows obviously a change. Okay, let's see from the regional scales in 2005. The subsidence mutations is, ma uh, uh, is mainly located in the uh, Chaoyang Tongzhou district the, with the seriously land subsidence and the Nankou uh, devalue fines. And, and uh, also, as we know, we also collect, collect uh, station one to station three. Uh, they're all uh, located in the uh, uh, yellow rectangles. We, we get the calculations between the two factors. We have the, the a uh, relationship between the two factors is relatively high in two thousand uh, in time series, and uh, may, uh, and uh, we uh, the pumping groundwater pumping uh, induced by uh, is an inducement of the one of the factors uh, that makes the uh, uh, subsequent mutations uh, occur in two thousand five. Okay, let's see the next. Oh, lost. Why? Hmm. Sorry. Okay. This is the pictures with uh, land subsidence mutations occurring in 2015. It's very interesting. So they, they are, the subsidence mutation in these years is also um, mainly uh, occur in the non subsidence areas and outside of the subsidence voice. Oh, she's low battery. So uh, uh, we also collected the three stations. Uh, the S4 and the S5 are all located outside of the, um, she's missing, oh, okay. Outside of the Shun Yi Tianzhu subsidence boys and the uh, S6, uh, that's S6 is located in the non-subsidence areas. Uh, we can say the relationship between the uh, two factors uh, outside of the, uh, subsidence boys, uh, they are, uh, the confined water, ground, groundwater levels, and the subsidence rate is relatively high. But in the non subsidence levels, it's relatively low. And what's more, as we know, at the end of the 2014, uh, the, uh, the South to North uh, water, uh, water diver diversion project is, uh, has entered in Beijing. And uh, it is uh, have the significance that the Increase of the water groundwater level, uh, and it has uh, elevated the subsidence in Beijing to some distant to some distant. Um, 
Okay, let's see the interesting things I try to explore the um, formation density and the subsistence mutations in the typical errors. And this uh, this profile, we have to a uh, new prospect prospecting uh, uh, experiment uh, uh, in these regions. Uh, the profiles is about 15 kilometers and from the uh, rural areas to urban areas in Tongzhou and Chaoyang. And the figure B shows the information of the subsidence mutations and the boundary part of the mutations, like the orange point. And the figure C shows the information density information required by the new uh, geophysical prospecting technologies. And the figure D also shows the land use in the uh, subsidence mutations arrows. Uh, we can see the subsidence mutations is occur mostly in the uh, places where the density is reduced by the human activities, especially in the uh, groundwater pumpings. And the human acti activities caused the, the reduction of the density uh, at 20 meters, uh, 20 meters, about 20 meters uh, in the rural areas, and the 90 meters, uh, we'll call, we, this is a, uh, Urban arrows, about uh, 90 meters vertical depth in the urban, uh, in the urban. So, let's see the next. Okay, in the uh, from the local uh, skills, we also try to explore the high rise buildings and the subsidence mutations. Uh, the red, the red uh, rectangles are uh, with uh, mutations in 2013. And uh, uh, we can see uh, uh, this, this, these are the faults. We can see that in 2013, the Tongzhou subsidence mutations can be uh, divided in two uh, types. The, class of, uh, the clustered types uh, is uh, uh, the arrows with a relatively large subsidence mutation scales uh, were located on the both sides of the fault buffer zones. Four buffer zones. These four buffer zones, about one kilometers, and uh, the scattered subsidence mutation in distribute as a, sp a spot patterns, and the scale relatively small, and basically include the high rise buildings. The light ones is a uh, the, the light the light blue is always a high buildings. So let's say the conclusions. Uh, we combine our group uh, combinations with a multi uh, source data to try to understand the subsidence mutations in Beijing plant. At the regional scale, the overall spatial distribution of the subsidence mutations was controlled by the geological conditions. And on the typical uh, subsidence arrows in Tung of Tongzhou, uh, the influence depth is uh, merely, uh, nearly 20 meters in the rural areas and can reach uh, about 90 meters in urban areas. And the local scales in 2013, uh, the uh, scattered type of subsidence mutations is distributed at the small patterns and uh, in basically including high-rise buildings. Uh, that's all. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. The floor is open for questions again. Yes. Uh, did you observe a slight land rebound in some area? Did, did you re observe land rebound? Rebound, yeah, uplift. Yeah, be, yeah, yeah. Any further questions? Uh, unless I, I have one, actually, uh, I, I didn't fully catch you. You talk about subsidence mutation. 
So, so I understand that is the the change in subsidence rate. Huh? So, uh, and it is a, a, a mutation is either it happens or it don't. Huh? So you show colors there. So, how do you choose your thresholds uh, on whether something um, a velocity rate changed or not? It's also um, it's been done typically not not in the reading the subject error, but also it's been done uh, for that. But in this article, we use the subject to read every subject mm -hmm. to read, and we're gonna handle a uh, test uh, to in, in that in this case. Yeah. Again, but you still need to decide when a change is is significant yeah. enough to call it a mutation. Yeah, huh? Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, but if you have a different choice, you will get a different map. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, um, any other questions? No, then thank you very much again.